Hey everyone! In the previous video we have created a bouncing ball. You can find the link to the video in the description and also a link to the scene with a complete animation. In this video I want to show to you how to make this ball uh, roll forward. Let's say it will roll off the table and uh, drop on the ground. So let's begin. First, let's create a box that will represent a table, just for convenience. Let's say our ball is going to move in the positive direction, like so. So table should be over here, like this. So here we have our table, uh, we are ready to begin animation. First we want uh, the ball to roll off the table, not just from this point, but we want to move it backwards so that it would have some uh, momentum. Uh, to do that we will shift all of the keyframes uh, a few frames forward and then we will just move it back. So to move keyframes on the timeline you press shift and select them like this. And then you can use middle mouse button to move them ahead for like 10 frames. There you go, nice. And now our animation will start with this ball. Well first Let's set a key right here to, to uh, key the starting point and then at the beginning of our animation it will be over here. Let's say like so. So we have a keyframe here and after some animation uh, it will be, let's say on the frame 19, it will be, let's say over here. Now because uh, ball starts moving pretty fast and then uh, the movement is supposed to slow down. We, we, need, we need to edit our animation curve to make it behave like that. Let's open our scene here. And let's select our translate Z curve, which represents the ball moving forward. It looks like this and all we need to do is basically just make it more curved like so. I would do something like this. So it starts pretty fast and then the movement gradually slows down like so. Let's say like so. We don't really necessarily need this keyframe but let's keep it. So let's make it move like so and we want it to maybe slow down a little bit faster. Ah, maybe that's fine. Let's look at the animation. Yeah, it seems pretty reasonable. Nice. So the next thing we want to do is to animate squash and stretch. so that when the ball hits the ground it would do that at the correct angle. We will just simply uh, set keyframes on the rotation of the squash stretch. So here it would be 0, here it would be let's say would look like this. Oops. Uh, 
then it's correctly zero and then it bounces back in the direction forward so just set these keyframes on every bounce oh and of course in the top position it will be just again at the zero so we set the rest of the keyframes once we have finished setting our keyframes our animation looks like this which is pretty nice if we want we can use a new and awesome feature that appeared in Houdini 15 that is called onion skinning you can turn onion skinning in the rig uh, switch it to full deformation and now we can see all the previous and the following frames of our animation if you want to adjust the visibility of these frames you can press D to open display options and in the viewport tab you will find the uh, options that allow you to control onion skinning you can uh, set uh, the colors of the previous and following frames the number of them and how many frames will be displayed like each frame or each every second frame etc I'm pretty happy with the way it looks right now maybe we will switch it to red and this we will switch to bluish color kind of makes sense all right excellent so now we can see uh, all of the frames of our animation and if we want we can adjust uh, the angle to which our bouncing ball uh, uh, our squash and stretch is rotated so that it would follow uh, our arcs better but I'm pretty happy with the way it is right now it looks really nice excellent so now we can turn off the onion skinning and uh, all that is left is to animate uh, the ball uh, ro rotation now we could of course just simply set keyframes on uh, uh, every few frames and see uh, that our ball is looking like it sticks to the ground like we could set keyframes every few frames like so and we could just rotate it manually and then just uh, adjust its position so that it would appear that it ro it's rolling on the ground correctly but instead of doing that I will demonstrate to you a more fun and awesome way to do so we will do it automatically by creating a simple formula uh, for our ro rotation over here so basically what we want is for our ball to make a 360 degrees rotation uh, every time it uh, moves forward a, a certain a certain distance right and we want this distance to equal uh, the circumference of the ball and uh, we can accomplish uh, this as follows first we just take our parameters and write our formula we write 360 because we want to rotate the ball 360 degrees and then it will rotate 360 degrees every every time this parameter changes we can select and copy this parameter and then pass relative references here so now this formula grabs this uh, number uh, that is animated and uh, pastes it into here like so and what we want is to uh, calculate the circumference of the ball and it's pretty easy uh, our ball is uh, two units in diameter so basically circumference of it would equal uh, pi uh, multiplied by 2 so it will be like 3.14 multiplied by 2 is this number except that we will uh, divide the distance the ball moves forward by uh, it, uh, the ball circumference and then multiply it by 360 degrees so once we have done that uh, 
all of the balls rotation is uh, animated automatically which is pretty awesome I, I'm really happy about this idea because now we do not have to manually and adjust all of its rotation and now when it slows down it will keep uh, excuse me keep rotating and behaving properly so even when it moves slowly it clearly sticks to the ground which is pretty nice so there you go our ball is rolling correctly and we have completed our animation nice so now we can just turn off the display of our uh, controllers and uh, render out our animation with flipbook it looks horrible and that is because I forgot to turn off the real-time toggle it messes up the way it renders animation let's do it again Bam, 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 bam. nice well I'm pretty happy and proud of this result and I hope that you have found this tutorial useful mm, you, as always you will be able, able to download the rig and the scenes in the by following the links in the description of this video and uh, you know subscribe to my channel because I am planning to create uh, a lot of cool and fun tutorials uh, we will talk about uh, all sorts of stuff, we will talk about principles of animation, we will animate uh, first simple exercises and then more advanced ch characters and I think it will be a pretty cool and interesting series. So see you in the next video.